Today we're going to learn how to create a trail using a tracer. First, we have to create an object. Uh, let's create a null and give it a shape. Uh, let, let it be a cube. Uh, it's already set to the y-axis, so it's facing the y-axis. Now let's animate this uh, cube going up and down. For that, we're going to use a vibrate tag. So go to an right-click, go to animation, vibrate and enable position we do want to animate on the y position so we'll just we're gonna we're gonna just disable the x by setting the value to zero and let's add 200 on the y let's play the anime go back and play the animation and this is a random uh movement if you want it to be a regular pulse we just check regular pulse it's going to be uh, like a sine wave and the frequency is very fast, so it's moving very fast. We want to slow it down, so we'll set the frequency to 1. Now let's try it. And that's perfect. And with the null selected, we go to select a trace. This will automatically add the null uh, into the trace link option, which is what we want. The next step is to animate the tracer. And we're, we're going to animate it on the X axis. But we'll we'll make it uh, go in the negative direction. So select the tracer, go to coordinates, set the go back to the beginning of the animation, set the x axis to uh, zero. Set a keyframe in the uh, x on the x axis when the value is zero, and go forward to twenty frames and move the tracer back in the negative direction. Let it be in minus three hundred. The value doesn't matter, we can change it later on if you want to make it faster or slower. Set another keyframe. Now play the animation. Uh, but the tracer and the trace you'll see that the tracer is gonna stop and we want to animate it indefinitely. So for that we're just gonna go to the dope sheet, select the position keyframes, and first let's make them linear because they're uh, they're curved. So uh, you'll see what I mean. S and then change the uh, after. So after the animation, we want it to continue. So let's change the after to offset and repeat. And go back to the beginning of the animation and play it. You'll see that the uh, trail is irregular. So f that's because the, uh, the keyframes are not linear. So for that, we're just going to select them and click this button to make them linear. Now if we go back to the animation let's close the dope sheet and play it you'll see that the trail is uh, perfect now if you want to limit the trail uh, from from the end so you select the tracer and go to object and uh, set the limit to uh, from end and add some keyframes let's add like 30 or 20 31 keyframes now go back and play the animation. You'll see the trail is uh, shaped like this.